Key point one. To be productive, commit to setting goals. No matter how many wellness books you read, the knowledge will only work for you once you systematically put it into practice. Our thoughts and intentions are realized only through actions. The surest and shortest way to achieve your goals is to prioritize them, draw up a clear plan, and strictly adhere to them step by step. External factors do not determine the lack of productivity in your life. It's a result of the decisions you make every day. Courageous people realize and accept responsibility for their well-being. You are the sculptor of your destiny. The decisions you make today determine the results you get tomorrow. If you want a great future, you need to make better decisions. Making better decisions comes with committing to something. It means you're making a conscious effort to improve daily. Commitment affects every aspect of your existence. It determines everything about your life and how productive you can become now and in the future. Each day is essential, so you must consciously use your time. After all, time won't wait for you. So strategically position yourself to maximize your opportunities. The twelve-week year plan allows you to bring forth your most important interests for the year and act on them within three months. There's no limit to what you can achieve as long as you are committed to it. Commitment is a challenging task. It's for those willing to brave the storm to reach the golden sky. If you've ever wondered how some people accomplish so much while others accomplish less, your answer lies in this summary. Unless commitment is made, there are only promises and hopes, but no plans. Peter Drucker. Key point two. The most difficult challenge people face is not the lack of knowledge, but the lack of execution. According to Stephen Pressfield, the author of *The War of Art*, we all have two lives: the one we live and the one we're capable of living. As such, we often suppress the life we're capable of because we lack the will to execute the knowledge we have. There's a famous saying that knowledge is power. But that's not entirely true. Knowledge without execution is futile and useless. The key to experiencing growth is understanding the power of execution. When you always do what people expect of you, you'll have no problem increasing your productivity. Many Americans are obese and overweight, despite knowing what to do to avoid it. Thousands of books on the internet teach how to reduce weight. But the problem is people don't follow the steps or are not consistent with them. Once you consistently focus on what works, you'll be able to do things easily. Each day is important, so you must be careful of annualized thinking. It's common to believe at the beginning of the year that you have a lot of time to achieve your goals, but when you fall short of these goals, you blame yourself and still make the same mistakes the following year. Moreover, many people don't feel the need to do something until there's a deadline. Deadlines motivate you to do many things because of the thrills associated with them. Create a feasible deadline for yourself today and work assiduously towards achieving it. Achieving effective execution isn't as complicated as you think, but it's not as easy as you may believe either. The problem most individuals or companies have with effective execution is that it requires taking new actions, which can be overwhelming to the extent that it seems like a good idea to abandon them. You must attach a strong emotional stake to the plan's long-term outcome by ensuring that your life and business visions are aligned. You can do this by highlighting and creating an operational strategy that saves time. Reduces mistakes and provides focus. Having a plan without executing it is a futile attempt at being productive. Key point three: Consistent action is the key to making your dreams come true. The actions you take determine your future. If you want to know what the future holds for you, look at your actions because they predict it. If you want to predict your health. 
Consider what you eat and how well you exercise. To feel good at 40, you must, for the previous 20 years, sleep eight hours every night, spend at least half an hour outdoors every day, and check your general health once a year. You will not be able to get in shape in an instant. It's a long, conscious process. The same applies to your marriage, career, and business. Your actions tell your story to a considerable extent. All big wins come from small, daily efforts. When you adopt a weekly plan, you will be great at a few selected things rather than focusing on many irrelevant ones. Clear schedules and deadlines don't give you the room to waste your time. They help you focus. If you can complete your plans in 12 weeks, you'll find it easier to achieve your goals. Your intention is there to keep you on track with your vision. Without an aim, you'll end up achieving nothing. When your purpose aligns with your vision, it becomes easier for you to increase your productivity without any adverse effects. Too often in businesses or daily life, we fail to keep score. We lose track of where we stand, so we barely know when to improve or relax. The primary reason why sports are exciting is scorekeeping. In sports, scores give the individual, team, spectators, and coaches an idea of where they stand and what they need to do. People lose or win by scores and statistics. Having a way to measure your ability is very important to know where you stand. Create a weekly scorecard that helps you understand how well you're developing. Time is also the essence of your life, so value your time by understanding the importance of saying yes or no. Learn to move away from things that will waste your time and focus on more productive things. Valuing your time helps you understand the true meaning of accountability. Accountability is about owning the results of your choices. After all, the only accountability that should exist in your life is self-accountability. Key point four. Don't mistake interest for commitment when it comes to developing ideas. Developing an interest in something doesn't automatically translate into committing to it. If you're interested in something, you must take actionable steps to show your commitment. The four keys to a successful commitment are strong desire. It comes from a compelling reason and motivates you when things get tough. Keystone actions. They involve knowing the core steps needed to achieve the result. Find the essential activities in your plans and work on them. Cost counting. Consider beforehand what it will cost you to achieve your goal. The price of success can include your time, comfort, money, and even family. Act on your commitments and not your feelings. It might seem daunting to do some things, but what makes it a commitment is overriding your emotions to keep yourself motivated. Trying to succeed on all fronts is tedious and inefficient. It's better to focus on the essentials. There's a chance that you are constantly multitasking, trying to do everything at once. It's not a good way to live. Don't rush trying to make up for lost time. Take each day as it comes and make full use of it. If you're hell-bent on making up for lost time, you'll lose the present and future in return. To maximize the efficiency of your time management, find a balance between your work and your life. Work-life balance is only achievable by the choices you make. If you find yourself in an environment where work negates your life or vice versa, the decision to quit or stay rests in your hands. Work-life balance can never be equal. One has to be higher than the other. The only way you can achieve a balance is by setting up a plan to maximize your time in each aspect of your life. With the little time you have for yourself, map out a plan that helps you enjoy it thoroughly. A good solution is to create a daily schedule in which you have time exclusively for focused work and time for sports, health maintenance, walks, and rest. Stick to this routine until it becomes a natural habit that does not require willpower. In this case, you'll always remain resourceful and can avoid burnout. Key point five. 
The execution system helps you make conscious decisions. The execution system is based on eight elements. Vision, planning, process control, measurement, time use, accountability, commitment, and greatness in the moment. These elements further divide into two groups. The three principles, the five disciplines. The three principles determine your success and the effectiveness of the 12-week year plan. These principles are accountability, commitment, and greatness in the moment. Accountability is owning up to your successes and failures. It's accepting ownership of the situations in your life because most things that happen result from your decisions. Commitment is putting a lot of effort into keeping the promises you made to yourself. It means you prioritize your duties and overcome laziness and reluctance. Greatness in the moment is realizing that committing to a particular thing is an act of greatness itself. It's not about the result, but the process of achieving it. The five disciplines complete the full cycle of using the 12-week year plan. Vision. Before embarking on any life-changing journey, you must create a sustainable vision. It means establishing why you should stay committed to achieving a goal. Planning. A working plan helps you focus on the most important things in your life. Make a detailed and realistic schedule for the day, week, and month. Create an effective plan that makes long-term goals your priority. Process control. Use the tools that successfully align your daily actions with the results you tend to achieve. For example, set the alarm if you need to wake up earlier. Measurement. It helps you know your stance so that you can evaluate your position. It's a feedback system that tells you if you're on the right track. Time use. You must be clear with your intentions regarding your time. Time is a continuum and you must use it well. When you combine and incorporate all of these elements into your 12-week year plan, you have no choice but to achieve steady growth in all areas of your life. Did you know? In 1968, a study showed that people with lower IQs were more successful than those with extremely high IQs, 135 plus. Work ethic and discipline play a decisive role. Key point six. It takes courage to admit to a mistake and correct it. Owning your mistakes doesn't make you weak. It means you're bold enough to hold yourself accountable for your actions. Remember, you define your moments and the choices you make with your decisions. People who paint themselves as victims limit their success to the actions of others. They are always under the shadow of an external force, and because they are quick to blame something or someone else, they see life as a struggle. On the other hand, those who are aware of their responsibility for their well-being always look for ways to realize their desires. They know that when one door closes, another opens. Accountability gives you control over your life because you can determine what works for you and what doesn't. It gives you leverage over difficult situations because you'll focus more on improving rather than blaming the process. Your commitment doesn't necessarily have to be huge or magnanimous. It could be simple and ordinary. Suppose you commit to doing something simple daily. You won't realize how difficult it is until you've done it consistently for weeks or months. Sometimes ordinary things become extraordinary when we commit to them. Swimming might be fun for you, but the moment you commit to it, it becomes a passion. Then it becomes a sport. And finally, a career. Commitment gives life to things that might otherwise seem lifeless. The first few days of your 12-week year plan might seem like hell. You'll experience a lot of reproach and resistance, but you must not deter from your goals. Look toward your long-term goals instead of short-term comfort. While showing commitment is good, don't take on too much. Set realistic goals to avoid consistent failure. Set proximate targets that you can meet. After all, you can continually expand your commitments by adding one new task at a time to your routine.
As mentioned earlier, commitment involves taking new, more challenging steps. It requires removing old habits that are not beneficial or do not add value to your life. Old habits will pull you back unless you get rid of them. Celebrate your wins, no matter how small, and use the 13th week to review your success. If you have not achieved enough, it's never too late to start again. If we did the things we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves. Thomas Edison Conclusion Living a productive life comes from having a plan and executing it. You're as good or bad as the decisions you make. Whatever you want to achieve, you must be committed to it. Having a plan or developing an interest in something is not enough. You need a framework to achieve it, and that's what the 12-week year plan is for. Compressing a year into 12 weeks requires a maximum concentration level. You don't have to do many things to have a successful life. Stick to the few things that work, and you'll witness exponential growth. Excellence is not an act, but a habit that needs persistence. Set deadlines to motivate you to complete tasks on time. Hold on to the idea that disciplined, regular execution of minor duties, step by step, brings you closer to achieving your goals. See a year as if it contains 12 weeks. Big plans for an extended period can be scary, leading to procrastination. Shorter deadlines will help you stay on your toes and be focused. You're much less likely to get bored or overexhausted in three months. The visible results of routine actions will motivate you to make daily efforts. Each subsequent week will be a tick on your list of achievements, creating an intense and inspiring period. Finally, remember to praise and thank yourself for your work. Try this. Make a list of all your interests and rank them based on their importance. Choose the most important ones and commit to them using the 12-week year plan. Enforce your commitment by applying the eight elements of commitment.